enhancing applications with cognitive APIs. IBM Watson has progressed and changed since its days playing against Jeopardy! champions. Today, Watson provides a collection of services that allow developers to bring artificial intelligence capabilities to their applications. After this presentation, you should have a general understanding of the Watson Developer Cloud offerings available on Bluemix. You will also get an introduction to services that you can use to add cognitive capabilities to your applications. Watson Developer Cloud is a developer's portal to cognitive services from IBM available as a collection of REST APIs accessible through SDKs supporting a broad range of languages. You can find SDKs on GitHub for Node.js, Java, Python, Swift, .NET, and Unity for your application development needs. In the next slide, we'll look at the services in the Watson Developer Cloud from four major categories, language, speech, vision, and data insights. Starting off in the language service area, there's the conversation service, which you can use to build dialogue-based services, including chatbots. Document conversion is able to take PDF, Word, HTML format documents and convert into formats for use with Watson services like Retrieve and Rank. Language Translator is able to identify dozens of languages and translate from one language to another. Natural Language Classifier is able to classify and determine intent from input text. Natural Language Understanding uses natural language classifications to extract metadata from text, including keywords, entities, categories, sentiment, and so on. Personality Insights allows you to understand personality characteristics, needs, and values from an individual's written text input. Analysis on the big five traits, needs, and values. At least 1,200 words are needed. Retrieve and Rank. Surface the most important information from a collection of documents and includes confidence ratings. Tone Analyzer allows you to understand the tone and style in written text, analyze for emotions and social tendencies, and writing style. You can use this to understand how to respond in an appropriate manner. There are speech-based APIs to convert speech to text and text to speech. These APIs are commonly combined with other APIs to process, input, or create output. Visual Recognition Service can classify and tag image content and locate human faces, identifying gender and estimating age. It can find similar images in a collection and can be trained with image sets to create custom classifiers. Discovery is a cognitive search and content analytics engine providing a query language to explore data. The Discovery News Collection provides a large source of pre-enriched news data from over 100,000 sources updated continuously. The IBM Watson Natural Language Classifier service uses machine learning algorithms to return the top matching predefined classes for short text input. You create and train a classifier to connect predefined classes to example text input. Then use a service to identify classes associated with new input text. Natural Language Classifier applies best to simple identification scenarios, for example, classifying input and taking actions, such as routing users' questions to the correct person or classifying issues by severity. The IBM Watson Conversation Service combines machine learning, natural language processing, and integrated dialogue tools to create conversation flows between your apps and your users. The conversation service provides a ready-to-use framework for creating chatbot applications. Applications send input to the conversation service to a specific workspace, which provides a container for dialogue flows and training data. Using the input, the service selects a path through the dialogue and provides additional responses back to the user to direct the conversation. Here is an example framework for an application built using the conversation service. Users can interact with the application from many channels, including messaging applications, Slack, and web or mobile platforms. The application takes input, which may be analyzed or converted with the help of other Watson services, and sends it to a workspace in the conversation service, which includes defined intents, entities, and dialogue flow. Depending on the dialogue path, the application can call out to other backend systems to perform actions on behalf of the user, or to retrieve information to be used in responses to the user. Tools exist to make this a low to no programming required exercise for many chatbot and messaging scenarios. The IBM Speech to Text service provides a REST API that enables you to add IBM's speech transcription capabilities to your applications. The service also supports an asynchronous HTTP interface for transcribing audio via non blocking calls. The service transcribes speech from various languages and audio formats to text with low latency. 
For most languages, the service supports two sampling rate, both a broadband and a narrowband sampling rate. The IBM Watson Document Conversion Service converts a single HTML, PDF, or Microsoft Word document into normalized HTML, plain text, or a set of JSON formatted answer units that can be used with other Watson services. This service is commonly used for the collection of unstructured data and documents during the content preparation phase for the Retrieve and Rank service. The Retrieve and Rank service provides users with more relevant results compared to traditional searching algorithms by automatically ranking them using machine learning. Built on top of Apache Solar, developers load their data into the service, train a machine learning model, then leverage this model to provide improved search results to their end users. The service combines several machine learning techniques. During the training process, the ranker chooses the best combination of algorithms from the user's training data. Here's a flow for a typical usage scenario for the Retrieve and Rank service. This service requires training in order to perform well on a given set of input. The first step is collecting the content and uploading it into the service. Then, the learning rank model is trained by providing a set of queries and identification of the relevant answers. After the initial training, the service is given a new set of queries. The resulting responses and ranks are evaluated and, if necessary, the model is improved. Applications using Retrieve and Rank usually align well to customer-facing professionals, such as support staff, contract center agents, field technicians, and other professionals. The Natural Language Understanding Service allows developers to analyze and identify specific features in text input, including categories, concepts, and more. To use the service, provide the input text as a parameter or by referencing a URL, and specify the desired features for the analysis. Supported features include categories. There are a set of predefined categories like art and entertainment, science, technology, business, finance, sports, and more. Concepts that are expressed but not necessarily directly referenced in the text. Emotion conveyed by specific target phrases or in the document as a whole. Entities. You can find people, places, and other types of entity mentioned in the content. Natural language understanding also supports these features. Keywords. Identify keywords within the source content. Metadata. For HTML and URL input, Extract the author of the web page, the page title, and the publication date. Relations. Recognize when two entities are related and identify the type of relation. Semantic rules. Allows the parsing of sentences into subject, action, object, form, and identify entities and keywords that are subjects or objects of an action. And sentiment. Which you can use to understand the sentiment towards specific target phrases and the sentiment of the document as a whole. The IBM Watson Personality Insight Service provides a REST API that enables applications to derive insights from social media, enterprise data, or other digital communications. The service uses linguistic analysis to infer individuals' intrinsic personality characteristics, including Big Five needs and values from digital communications such as email, text messages, tweets, and forum posts. The service can automatically infer from potentially noisy social media portraits of individuals that reflect their personality characteristics. The service can report consumption preferences based upon the results of its analysis, and for JSON content that is timestamped, it can also report temporal behavior. This service works best when given written input from an individual of significant volume. At least 1,200 words is recommended as input for the service. The IBM Watson Tone Analyzer service uses linguistic analysis to detect three types of tones from written text, emotions, social tendencies, and language style. Emotions include things like anger, cheerfulness, and sadness. Identified social tendencies include things from the big five personality traits used by some psychologists. These include openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Identified language styles include things like confident, analytical, and tentative. The Tone Analyzer service works with short segments of text and does not require training. A typical scenario for Tone Analyzer in an application would be to evaluate input text from a user, either directly input to a chat application or placed on social media, and extract insights on the emotional tones present. It can also be used to analyze a response and inform the user of potentially undesirable emotion tone in the text, 
for example, when providing a response back to a user in a customer service application scenario. Input email and other written media into the Tone Analyzer service, and you can use the results to determine if your writing comes across with the tone, personality traits, and writing style that you want for the intended audience. The Language Translator service supports a REST API to translate text from one language to another. Since text can take various forms based on use, the service includes a set of domain-specific linguistic models to improve translation accuracy. The service can also be trained in order to be more accurate with industry-specific jargon and terminology. Built-in domain models include news articles, conversational text, and patent language. Patent domain language translation only goes to English. The Language Translator service also includes a language identification API that can identify the language of input text across dozens of languages. The IBM Text-to-Speech service provides a REST API that uses IBM's speech synthesis capabilities to synthesize text into natural sounding speech in a variety of languages, accents, and voices. The service currently synthesizes text from US English, UK English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Spanish, or Brazilian Portuguese into an audio spoken in a male or female voice. The audio is streamed back to the client with minimal delay. The IBM Watson Visual Recognition Service uses deep learning algorithms to identify scenes, objects, and faces in images that you upload to the service. The service is pre-trained on a default classifier with a very broad range of features that can be present in images. Developers can create and train a custom classifier to identify subjects for specific scenarios as needed. Additionally, application developers can create custom collections of images and then search that collection with an input image to find similar images from the collection. The IBM Watson Discovery Service is a cognitive search and content analytics engine that you can add to applications to identify patterns, trends, and actionable insights to drive better decision making. You can securely unify structured and unstructured data with pre-enriched content and use a simplified query language to eliminate the need for manual filtering of results. This service can be used with your own data, which IBM keeps only in your instance and never uses it to train or serve content to others. Or it can be used with the public data set of news articles that is sourced from over 100,000 outlets and is updated continuously. This concludes our overview of the Watson Cognitive APIs. All of these are available on Bluemix for you to use to enhance your applications. Thanks for listening.